wanna be rich and I want lots of money. I don't care about clever, I don't care about funny. I want loads of clothes and fuck loads of diamonds. I heard people die while they're trying to find them. And I'll take my clothes off and it will be shameless. Cause everyone knows that's how you get famous. I'll look at the Is it ethical to retouch a photograph and then publish it as a fact? What type of effect will this have on the viewers? Retouching has become a tool in which editors alter a person, object, or some element in a picture. Some examples of alterations are a person's weight, skin color, or removing blemishes. By editing a picture, it leads readers to believe that what they're seeing is factual. In the case of an altered photo of a male or female model, it presents false hope because some readers look at a picture in a magazine and want to look like him or her, when in reality the person in the picture doesn't look like that. The Bach model, founded by Cicilla Bach, is a model used for making ethical decisions. If editors followed these steps before publishing retouched photos, they may reconsider their decision to run them. Step 1. Consult your conscience. How do you feel about the proposed act? Julia Bloom, a 14-year-old from Waterville, Maine, started a petition to ask Seventeen Magazine to commit to printing one unaltered, real photo spread per month. Bloom delivered the petition to Seventeen Magazine, and top editor Ann Shockett decided to run photos of unaltered girls. Seventeen is allowing readers to see the step-by-step -step changes and photo alterations on their Tumblr page. Ann Shockett wrote in the editor's letter in the August 2011 issue that the magazine had drafted what it called a body peace treaty after she heard from girls, quote, who were concerned that we'd strayed from our promise to show real girls as they really are, end quote. She said the entire staff signed the eight-point pact in which the magazine promises that it will never change girls' body or face shapes and will include only images of real girls and models who are healthy. Step 2. Seek expert advice for alternatives to the action creating the ethical predicament. Is there another way to achieve your goals without raising ethical issues and objections? Jacob Aaron, the author of the article Altered Image Ratings Tell You Just How Fake Photos Are, said magazine editors in some countries like the UK, France, and Norway are labeling pictures if they are altered in any way. Steve Lore states in the article, Photoshopped or not, a tool to tell, that feminist legislators in France, Britain, and Norway want to label if a photo has been retouched. He also said, in June, the American Medical Association adopted a policy on body image and advertising that urged advertisers and others to discourage the altering of photographs in a manner that could promote unrealistic expectations of appropriate body image. The article also claims that if an editor retouches a little bit, it is ethical. According to the Journalism Code of Ethics, a reporter should seek truth and report it. Journalists should be honest, fair, and courageous in gathering, reporting, and interpreting information. The Code of Ethics states you should never distort the content of news, photos, or video. Image enhancement for technical clarity is always permissible, however, one should avoid misleading reenactments or staged news events. If a reenactment is necessary to tell a story, label it. Step 3. Hold a discussion with parties involved in the situation. How will my actions affect others? Assess what is at stake for all parties involved in the situation. There is an impulse I've seen over the last several years to improve on reality, David Granger, the editor-in-chief of Esquire, said. People think, I should manipulate this to create a more beautiful photo. Granger said he found more photographers are being pressured to produce shots that the actors or actresses like because celebrities then will request a photographer in the future for other work. That can be critical because editorial work alone is not enough to sustain a career in photography, according to Granger. Retouching has dominated editorial pages so much that magazine industry executives have considered setting guidelines on what is considered acceptable. Sid Holt, chief executive of the American Society of Magazine Editors, said that in the past, the industry only established guidelines regarding advertising and editorial conflicts. After much consideration and thought, the society concluded that editors can continue to regulate themselves for now. It's really the responsibility of the individual brands, Mr. Holt said. Many magazine editors have widely different opinions on the ethical standards of retouching photos. Maggie Kennedy, the photography director of Garden and Gun magazine, said that the magazine had removed the water from the cover dog's ears so that the copy on the cover stood out. 
We're not altering the animal's body, Miss Kennedy said. Ours is about accommodating design and copy. Larry Hackett, editor-in-chief of People, said he follows the wedding picture test, allowing photo editors to remove crow's feet and hairs that fall out of place. That kind of retouching, quote, doesn't alter reality, but it makes it sweeter, end quote. Victoria's Secret models themselves feel their retouched bodies are pure fantasy and say that that is the whole point. Retouching is an essential part of our job, Victoria's Secret angel Aaron Hatherton told style blog Fashionista. Quote, we're not selling reality, we're selling a story. It's all about creating this fantasy. I don't think people should confuse fantasy and reality because no one is perfect. We all know that. And I think people should embrace themselves and not really focus on where people are depicted as perfect and where they're not. End quote. 24 million people of all ages and genders suffer from an eating disorder in the United States. Eating disorders have the highest mortality rate of any mental illness. Like it's thrown at us every day. Day after day after day. It really does wear you down. If we look at these pictures, I think it subconsciously registers that we want to look at like these people. I feel like it's a competition sometimes to be thinner. I mean, everywhere you look, there's some gorgeous girl that's so skinny. Disordered eating is characterized by a wide range of eating behaviors used to attempt to lose weight or achieve a lean appearance. According to Eric Key and Hani Farid, the authors of the article, A Perceptual Metric for Photo Retouching, these unrealistic and highly idolized images have been linked to eating disorders and body image dissatisfaction in men, women, and children. According to the National Association of Anorexia Nervosa and Associated Disorders, almost 50% of people with eating disorders meet the criteria for depression. Only 1 in 10 men and women with eating disorders receive treatment. The bottom line is that people are used to seeing me looking like this and like this and all that. And everyone seems to be pretty okay with that. But for some reason, people have a serious problem when I look like that. <laughs> all right, when I look <laughs> like that. But luckily, I'm strong enough and I have a good support system. I mean, I love my mama. She has helped me to be a strong woman so I can overcome these kind of attacks. But if I had lower self-esteem, I would probably be starving myself right now. But that's exactly what is happening to other women all over this country. So I have something to say to all of you that have something nasty to say about me or other women that are built like me, women that sometimes or all the time look like this, women whose names you know, women whose names you don't, women who've been picked on, women whose husbands put them down, women at work or girls in school. I have one thing to say to you. Kiss my fat ass. In conclusion, if editors were to consult the steps of the Bach model before publishing an altered or retouched photograph, their decision of whether or not they run it may change. The Bach model shows us that retouching a photo in any way is unethical. We feel photos should not be retouched because when a photographer takes a picture, he or she is capturing a moment in time. Readers should not believe something that is not true, like a photo that has been altered. Altering photos can lead to body image problems and eating disorders. If we were editors of a magazine, we would not alter any photos. If we see a photo of a model with hair out of place or wrinkles, we will leave the photo as it is. We do not want to mix up reality and fantasy.